What are your confidence in that relationship? What are the things that make you feel strong and happy with that person that is in a relationship with you? Are you really on the right direction with the person? You will have to know it in the context of this discussion. Four signs you are on the right direction with the person God wants for you. 1. Securing and building a future for yourselves. One thing is God bringing you both together, because that is what He wants for you. The person that God wants for you is the perfect person for you. The only one that will love you and give you all that you have prayed for in love. Loving you will not be difficult for someone that God has brought to your life for a relationship. There is only one thing you have to work out consciously and be particulate about, and that is trying to know if you're in the right direction with the person that God has brought to your life. Are you really in the right direction that God wants you to be? Are you on the wrong direction with the right person that God wants for you? This is a very important question. Do you even know that right direction for your relationship? And have you been working out something right in it? One of the signs that will tell you this is when you build and secure a future for yourselves in that relationship. Whatever God does is permanent. That relationship with the person that God wants for you is meant to be permanent and forever. If God brings you together in holy marriage, that marriage is meant to be forever. What God sees is the future and not the present. That is the right direction you have to walk on, the future. It is when you do not have the interest of purpose at hand that will make you not do the right things. Securing the future, working for the success and the betterment of the future is one particular sign that shows that you are on the right direction with the person that God wants for you. It will not work well that you're in a relationship that is without a future and it is not making any good progress. Progressive and futuristic plans for yourselves makes you know you are on the right direction with that person that God wants for you. The future is where God is going to. The future is where the glory will be revealed and celebrated. The future is where the blessings is and it is the desires of the Lord to bless you in the future if you work in the right direction. 2. Keeping God in the lead in that relationship that God has ordained for you, there are things you must not do away with in that relationship. If God is the beginning, then you must not take God away from the relationship because it will need God to sustain the relationship. You will be on the right direction of you, still allow God to lead you in all that you do in that relationship. If you're the person that God has brought into your life has the fear of the Lord and you both are following the lead of the Lord in your life, that is how you will know you are on the right direction in that relationship. How will you make progress without God? How will you do things right without God? How would you succeed and get things done without following the leadership and the instructions of the Lord? The question is, how will you secure the future without God in the plans and the decisions making process? So you see that it will always be clear to you and it will make no sense to you if you remove God from the matter and ride on your own. The relationship, the person that God has brought into your life will not be on the right direction if God is not the one leading you in those things that you're doing. Following God is one essential thing to do in life. Taking instructions from God is one proper will that will help you build the right relationship with God because trusting God entails obeying and doing the will of God every time and every day of your life. You will not have any reason to fear or to shake if you know and you are sure that you and the person that God has brought into your life are following the lead and the instructions of God in keeping and moving the relationship to where God wants it to be. And the purpose must be known clearly that God has a reason for bringing you together. And that reason and purpose must be the focus for that relationship and marriage as it may be. God has not led anyone into error before. God has not made anyone got the wrong way before. When you want to keep your relationship with the person that God wants for you on the right direction, then you have to follow the lead of the Lord. That future that you're pressing into with faith and focus, 
Do you really understand the purpose of your pursuit? That is one particular understanding that you must have in you to help you know where you and the person that God wants for you are heading to. 3. Happy Together Do you know that everyone that is created by God could stay alone without stress and still get their lives done? But there is always a reason for making them in two different gender. There is reason for companionship. There is reason for being with someone that you love and the person that God wants for you because the goal is happiness. There is a level of happiness that you can achieve alone when you're all by yourself. And there are happiness that comes to your life when you have someone that loves you around you. When you have someone that cares and gives you the reason to live and reasons to smile away. That happiness goes beyond what you can give to yourself as a person. Do you see now that the direction of happiness is one important way you have to walk with that person that God wants for you, so that your life will be alright? God wants you to be happy. God wants you to take away everything that will keep you safe. Everything that will make your life miserable and not responding to the works of God and the goodness of God in your life. If you're not happy in that relationship, if you're not properly treated in that relationship and marriage, it must be known to you that you're not on the right direction with your partner that God wants for you. You have to know that humans are limited and weak in most areas of their life. Nobody is a superhuman being. People might not give you the expectations of your heart. They may not bring you the deserving emotional treatment that you wanted. When you're in that situation, know it that you have to get things back to the right direction and the position that it ought to be. It is a deviation from the right direction. It is left for you to work with that sign that God has given to you, so that you will get things back to what it ought to be, and you will enjoy maximum happiness because that is what God wants for you. Happiness is the right direction for you, and that is the reason God has brought that person to your life, so that your life will be filled with joy and unending happiness that will flow ceaselessly and give you the fullness of life that you wanted and dreamed of. 4. Love is the ultimate intention and the real direction. God's intentions to change the world with the power of love. There is no height, there is no depth, no life that love cannot reach and change. Love is the direction of God. If you're not loving, then you are not working the direction of God. What God wants from the people he has made together is the perfect love of God working in them and making their lives great. If the person that God has brought to you is not loving you the way it ought to, if there is no love in that relationship, then you have to know that it is a sign that you're not in the right direction and you have to do everything to reawaken love in it. Love is the weapon with which God wants us to bring the world that the devil has destroyed together. God is projecting love in lives so that everyone will live in love with one another and the peace that will be generated will be sustained to keep lives. If the person that God wants for you is not loving you, then you have to know it that you and the person you're not working in the right direction with God. Walking in the path of love is walking in the direction of God. When love is involved in the relationship, it is a sign that you and the person that God wants for you, you are on the right direction that God wants for you because with love, there will be God and godliness. And when there is God in that relationship, you will see it clearly that everything is possibly going to lead into the will and the accomplishment of the purpose of God for your life and you will live a happy and fulfilled love life.